What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm here with a Project Life Process video for you today using bits and bobs from my stash. So this week I decided to do something a little bit different. I decided to go for a bit of a list in the center. So I had one space that needed a card and then I numbered my photos and did my journaling on the center card. So this was something that I haven't I haven't tried before, but it was really, really fun and I think I'll definitely do it again. So let me know in the comments if you've done something like this before. Um, I've seen some people do it in their December daily, so they might take multiple photos throughout the day um, and then do a list journaling what each photo is. But I, I really liked it for, for Project Life as well. So I'm just writing using this card, I think from, oh, it could either be from Citrus Twist Scrap fantastic or studio calico it's an older card i just have a little box on my desk that has all sorts of project life cards that i can use at arm's reach so i'm adding in my journaling and of course i journaled too much and had to squish it all in but but i made it work stapling on a little heart just as a tiny little embellishment and of course i had to get a tiny word sticker you know i did so i'm just adding that here as well so the thing that I really liked about this is that I didn't need to then journal on the actual photos. I could just do some tiny little embellishment clusters, um, even though I did apparently journal on this one. Apparently I did just to add some extra things. Um, but yeah, it was just a, a different way of going about journaling. And look at that. I finally used a green puffy circle because it matched the bed linen in this photo. Um, a subscriber sent me this while I was really sick and it's so Poppet and Frida looking after each other in bed. And that's exactly how it would go because Poppet's the bossy dominant one and Frida is constantly sucking up to Poppet and she would be like, oh, Poppet, are you okay? Are you okay? It's exactly how the roles would be <laughs> in that situation. So I started to use these Scraptastic older um, alphabets because I'm not a huge fan of brown it it's a very tanny brown and it's not a color that I usually use so I had to make sure now this was a fail I had to make sure that it had all of the numbers that I needed and of course I didn't check that it had two ones for the 10 but I I do a bit of a, a tricky tricky on that when I get to 10 um, and then I realized that this photo isn't actually journaling number two. There is no two photo. So then I had to put the three on. So I really, really think you need to check your numbers <laughs> before you start sticking them on. This next one is a picture of herb cheese bread, which if you watch any of the live streams, you've probably seen me eating it. And oh my goodness, it's freaking delicious. Um, so... I made did Aaron make me some I think Aaron might have made it to make me feel better because I wasn't very well in November I think that's I think he made it and I'm just adding that four there luckily the four could come up because I did decide to move it a little bit and the the embellishing on this layout is really quite quite simple it's basically the number tiny word sticker tiny embellishment number tiny word sticker tiny embellishment which is quite repetitive, but it's very, it's very my style. Now this one, I don't think I did any embellishing with because I had already used a filter to put in that little overlay. This is a photo of my school baby shower. So um, I had a baby shower at school joint with another teacher who was also pregnant. And um, so we went for high tea. I didn't have a baby shower with my friends and family. Um, so this was my, this was my little hurrah. So I'm just grabbing my Tim Holtz tiny word stickers and adding a little caption here. But yeah, it was really fun to do this one. I really liked it. I really, I'm enjoying trying to do some new techniques in my project life just so I don't get too bored with it. Um, let me know in the comments what... What is a little technique that you like to do in your project life? Do you like to do photo collages? Do you like to um, type up big journaling text sections on the computer or typewriter? Do you, what else could you do? Do you like to use a lot of inserts? Do you 
um, I don't know, what do you like to do? What's a go-to technique for you in your project life? I'm definitely going to do this listing technique again. Now look at that photo. Look at those eyebrows. Look, not eyebrows. Look at those eyelashes. So this is a photo <laughs> of my darling husband when he was probably about five or six and he used to do tap dancing and um, his mother did his eyeliner in this photo I think and damn boy those are some nice lashes um Aaron has really long eyelashes at the best of times but when you put mascara and eyeliner on them it just makes it even better so much better and with the combined with the fringe and the blue 90s eyeshadow it's just a glorious photo so we were going through photos to look for what were we looking for I think we were looking for photos for his brother's 21st um, through Aaron's childhood album and ran across this beauty and I just had to include it in this week's project life because how could I not how could I not include that so here's one of dad and Nelly big smoocher I've told the story often my dad calls Nelly Deli because he calls me Deli and he calls me Nelly because when you get a, a replacement child like Nelly you give it a name that rhymes with your actual child don't you <laughs> so this is a photo of dad and Nelly just having a bit of a snuggle time <laughs> I love Nelly but she is a rat bag she's an absolute crazy crazy doggy adding a little bit of a puffy sticker and some enamel dots here and this photo didn't really need any any extra journaling I just wanted to embellish it a little bit so then we move on to the next card I think we've only got one to go and this is where I had to do a bit of a hack because I realized I've got no 10 oh look at that no 10 so I decide to go for a Q because Q's shouldn't be allowed in alphabets except for one of them and I just cut it off and it doesn't have the little pointy bit of the one but I don't mind no one's going to if people are going to fuss about that looking through your album then don't let them look through your album because it's not worth it so I'm adding a little bit here this is when I was home sick and Frida was keeping me company on the couch and Aaron was resting on my leg and it was just a nice little snuggly snuggly little photo here before the weather turned boiling hot in summer in December. I've been enjoying doing some journaling using my white Uniball Signo pen. Um, it is a bit blocked though. I have to I have to see if I can just get a, a tissue and unblock it. But every time I think of doing it, it's too late and I've already finished using it. But yeah, it's a good pen for white journaling. And that's it. I'm all done. So let me know in the comments, what's a go-to project life technique that you like to do, like photo collages or a certain way that you do journaling or do you use an app like the Collect app to um, do your project life? I'd be really interested to know. Thanks for watching everyone. And I hope you're enjoying these videos while I'm adjusting to motherhood over the next few weeks. I've kept up two videos a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. There'll be a project life and a layout every single week. So thanks for watching guys. And please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time. Bye.